months ago. But Atkinson's not concerned by the fans' reception, just about beating his old team. OK. When Ron Atkinson turned down Villa's initial overtures, the mood was one of glum acceptance. But just a week later, the smile was back. Atkinson, having given Wednesday his resignation, was Ellis's man. This week, the preparations for the new season have been finalised with eight new players amongst the squad. The first fixture, a strange, perhaps cruel twist of fate. It's a strange quirk how the uh, other fixtures have thrown us up against Sheffield, but, um, you know, I, I, my belief is it's a long season. You play everybody twice, and, you know, I don't single out any, uh, any fixtures out from any other. Um, it's not so much you do on, what you do on the opening day, it's what you do towards the end of the season that counts. Among those eight new players is Dalian Atkinson, signed from Real Sociedad. He'll lead the attack tomorrow, and by a strange coincidence, his last English club was Sheffield Wednesday. It's, you know, it's great. It's, it's, um, it would be great for us to go, to go away and win. I'd love to do it for the gaffer and for the lads in the club, of course, but I mean, I think a lot of the pressure will be on the boss. I think he'll do well to, uh, to, to try to handle it. Um, hopefully, we can ease it a bit by, you know, playing well for him. But tomorrow is all about the return of Ron Atkinson to Hillsborough. All the supporters who'd once acclaimed him be hostile tomorrow. I've no idea. I mean, if you're a minder, if you've got a crystal ball and you can tell me, you might be telling me the result as well. I'm more concerned. I should be more concerned with the, dealing with the likes of Hurst and Nielsen and Williams uh, than any other thing, because I know they will be the biggest threat we'll have at the weekend, their players. Hopefully, um, we can prove him right for sort of moving to, to, to like, um, work for Villa, you know, and, and, and make it a great day for all of us. Villa's team will be unrecognisable tomorrow. Six of the eight new men are expected to play against Sheffield Wednesday. But it's one new man who'll be the centre of attraction, and he's not even playing. Well, a new season brings amendments to the rules, and no doubt new controversy. As always, the letter of the Controversial law... circumstances during the summer. Atkinson had been promised a hostile reception by Wednesday fans after he decided to join Villa. As the Villa coach pulled up, Ron Atkinson was left in little doubt that he was no longer welcome at Hillsborough. He was forced to make an undignified entrance, but the police cordon ensured he was unscathed. Mr Atkinson's now history at this club. I think we've got to say that he left the club, I think, in football in terms better than when he came. I think the fans will recognise that in due course and uh, put their support behind Trevor Francis, but it should be. Today was also the day when the Leppings Lane end was fully open for the first time since the Hillsborough disaster. The terraces where the tragedy unfolded have been replaced by two and a half thousand seats. Behind the scenes, Ron Atkinson chatted to his successor. Outside, the Wednesday fans waited to vent their anger. Two days ago, Aston Villa agreed to pay Sheffield Wednesday around £150,000 in compensation for Ron Atkinson's services. But it seems the Wednesday fans aren't yet ready to forgive their former hero at any price. Big Ron emerged to face a chorus of booing. He looked a little flustered, but he had the last laugh. Wednesday went two up, but a mistake from Chris Woods, their million pounds keeper, set Villa on the road to a 3-2 victory to put the old smile back on their new manager's face. One first division game wasn't played today, Crystal Palace against Leeds. A date for the fixture still has to be arranged. Barnett's first match... His new look, Aston Villa team. A bit of a soft touch and Palmer able to feed Hurst, who brings it onto his left foot. What a start to the season for David Hurst! First on that left foot. Oh, how does he get around to some of these situations if he sets off like a greyhound from the trap again? Superbly done, a chance for number two! Beautifully struck by Danny Wilson. And it looks a good one as well, and a difficult flap, and the ball's in the net for Aston Villa, and Cyril Regis has his first goal for Villa on his debut. Richardson's loop ball is aimed at Atkinson. Force for Regis, brilliant ball from Regis to Mortimer. He can make it 2-2 here. Fine save, but Atkinson's there. And it's just the return that Dale and Atkinson would have dreamed of. Well, Atkinson has shown little emotion up to this moment, but I detect a, a wry smile there now. There's still six minutes left in which to conjure up a winner, either side, Worthington with the corner. Two Wednesday men have gone on the line. Spink can't come for this one. Oh, feels for handball, not given, and the referee was right, it struck him in the chest. 
And it's Villa's turn to come on the charge. And Atkinson, it's going to be one against one here. Chris Woods waits, and it's squared for Staunton. And Steve Staunton strikes what might well prove to be a winner for Villa. John Helm was right. He was the winner for Villa.